Bridgerton superfans in Detroit are asking for their money back after a busted ball. They showed up in gowns, even horse-drawn carriages, but the party inside was not what they expected. ABC's Lara Spencer has the latest. It was supposed to be the talk of the town. At last, London's fashionable set has made its return. They arrived in ball gowns and horse-drawn carriages, just like the characters in their favorite show, Bridgerton. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. But instead, super fans in Detroit are blowing the whistle down on this ball-turned bust. It was supposed to be a completely immersive experience and make it like we were stepping into the world of Bridgerton. And when we got there, we were completely devastated because it was anything but. The event billed as a Bridgerton ball with dinner, dancing, games, and a costume contest. The winner taking home $2,000. Amanda Sue Mathis and her mom, Cindy, shelling out over $100 per ticket. But instead of finding charm, they found chaos. I noticed in the middle of the dance floor, there was a pole meant for an exotic dancer. The circus performer hired for the event says she was contacted by organizer Uncle and Me LLC just three hours before the event. She says she offered them a variety of performance options and they chose pole dancing. I just feel very bad for all the patrons who showed up to the event just because my goal as a performer is, you know, to bring happiness. Uncle and Me saying in a statement to our affiliate WXYZ, we understand that not everyone had the experience they hoped for, and for that, we sincerely apologize, adding that they are, quote, working diligently to address all concerns and reviewing compensation options to make things right. This latest event disaster being compared to the doomed fire Festival and that disastrous Willy Wonka experience earlier this year. The disappointed ball patrons forced to share water and listen to a lone violinist feel duped and just want their money back. We were very upset. A lot of money was spent putting these outfits together. We got nothing. Our thanks to Lara Spencer for that report.